Kali Linux is a Darbian based Linux distro that comes pre installed with a bunch of tools right out of the box, which makes it the perfect Linux distro for me to explore Linux with. So, in this video, I'm going to be installing Kali Linux on VirtualBox, getting a feel of how it works, and looking at all the fancy tools it has to offer. I've thought about dual booting Kali Linux along with Windows, but that can be messy, so I'll be visualizing it using VirtualBox for now. VisualBox is a piece of software that allows you to run other operating systems on top of your native operating system. To do this, we need to head on over to google.com and search for VisualBox. Enter the first result and download VisualBox for operating system. I'm currently on Windows 11, so I'll be choosing Windows here. Once it is downloaded, we are going to open a new tab and search for Kali Linux download. Open the first result here. Once we get here, we need to make the first of many choices. There are basically two ways to visualize Kali Linux on VisualBox. Picking the first option here installs Kali Linux as a fully fleshed operating system running alongside your main operating system. This means that we allocate a portion of your system's resources, storage, RAM, CPU, and other resources to Kali Linux. This method is more permanent. On the second option here, instead of installing Kali Linux from scratch, you download a pre-configured visual machine image. This essentially gives you an instant Kali Linux operating system that can run on VisualBox without making any permanent changes to your primary OS. This can be useful if you are testing potentially dangerous actions, for example, accessing compromised websites, because it gives you a safer sandbox environment which you can easily discard if compromised. I'm going to be using the first option because I plan to install software on this and use it as a second OS. So I'll select the system image here and download it. It might take a while depending on the internet connection, so hit the like button and subscribe while we wait. Once it is done downloading, we can finally get started. First, navigate to your download folder and double click on VisualBox to open the installer. We are going to keep everything here at their default settings, but make sure that you take note of which directory we are installing this into. Once it is downloaded, click on New. Then give our OS a name. We are going to select Linux for the system type here and then Darabian for the subtype. Then click here. Navigate to your downloads folder and select the Kali Linux ISO we downloaded. Then click on next. In here, we are going to need to allocate part of our system's resources to Linux. I'll give it 4GB of RAM and 3 CPU cores. Make sure you don't exceed the green part here when allocating yours. We can change this depending on how the OS feels once it is installed. If it is slow, we can usually give it more CPU cores and more RAM. Click on next. For storage, we are going to need to click on create visual hard disk now and enter the amount of storage we need to allocate to Kali Linux. For a smooth experience, I recommend you give it 80 gigabytes of storage, but I'll be doing 20 gigabytes for now. This is because my one terabyte SSD is running out of storage because your mom is so big and pictures 500 gigabytes. <laughs> it's 500 gigabytes. <laughs> um, no, it's uh, mainly because of GTA and Cyberpunk 77. So once we are done here, we simply click on next and then review these settings here. Everything looks proper, so click on finish. Once we are here, we are done configuring everything and ready to install. But before you click on start here, please make sure that visualization is enabled on your computer. So click on the Windows key and search for Task Manager. In Task Manager, check visualization down here. And if it is enabled, go back to VisualBox and click on start to start installing Kali Linux on VisualBox. However, if it is not enabled, we need to enable it on your computer. It sounds complicated, but it's not really. You can simply restart your PC, wait for the screen to go black, then start clicking the F10 key to get into your BIOS. 
Once there, just check for visualization and enable it. Restart your PC and continue from where we left off. So, to begin the installation, we simply click on start here. This will launch Kali Linux here. I am using a 4K monitor, so this might be why it is tiny here. I will just zoom in a bit and continue. We will fix this once we are done installing. From here, click on Kali Linux install and just follow the given prompt. It took 34 minutes for me, which is way too long, so maybe give it more calls when allocating resources. But once it is done installing, I just logged in, searched for resolution, and cranked up the resolution to 2K so it fills up my entire screen. And finally, there it is, the glorious Kali Linux. As you can see, we have a bunch of tools to play around with here. For information gathering, we've got Legion and NAP down here, Hydra, Jack the Reaper and Word List for password analysis, CLang for reverse engineering, the Metasploit console and a bunch of docs for other exploits here. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot more tools here, but these are just the ones that I've used before and recognize. We'll definitely try most, if not all, of these in the future. I think Python also come pre-installed as well. We are going to be using that a lot to write our scripts. Yeah, it is installed here. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun playing around with Kali Linux going forward, so you guys install it as well. Like the video, let me know which tools to try in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.